Basic Software Systems has delivered the right dealership management system solution at the right time. Whether you're a small or multi-store dealership, we'll help you manage your operation and your growth. Basic-software.com Service is probably my weakest area. I'm not a uh, mechanic. I've never worked in a mechanic shop. Uh, I'd never been in, in, in retail until this business. Uh, but uh, Jason does a great job. We have a service writer who is also um, a technician. We promoted him from, and so at times uh, he is back working as well. Um, the service writer checks in the customers, uh, does a quick diagnosis if that's possible you know, and then and tries to line up the repair and get the parts on order or get them um, with the parts ticket. Uh, three technicians, um, they tend to um, have their niche that they work on, diesel mechanic, you know, small engine mechanic, and, and an ATV um, mechanic, but they also all help each other and are cross-trained or we're cross-training them as we go. We always try to get our certifications with two people, one being either the service writer or the service manager. I want them certified because it can give stability. And then we want the technician certified as well. So at least one technician with each uh, product line, say if it's Kohler or Polaris or Mahindra, uh, we, we're gonna send them to the schools along with the service manager or the service writer. I love my shop. Oh, those guys back there do an awesome job. They're what sells out of the front of the store. Uh, we really focus on just taking your time doing the job right the first time, not trying to push something out because the customer's, you know, um, uh, hounding you, needing it back. Make sure it's right, take it, use it around the yard here, make sure it's a good solid repair. We used to have a lot of comebacks and there's absolutely no way to make money in a dealership with comebacks. It's just a factor of how much you're gonna lose. So the more that you can uh, do it right the first time, we um, slow down, Take a deep breath, you know, and diagnose it right and fix it right. The diagnosis is a huge part. We, uh, and, and this happens in every dealership. You, you diagnose something, you get to working on it, you found something else is broke. Uh, you had to order those parts. So what happened, a four or five day job just turned into a nine to 10 day job because you got to order more parts. And you got to call the customer saying, Hey, um, we found this, the price is going up. Nobody likes that call. Nobody likes to make that call. Nobody likes to receive that call. So the diagnosis is very important. Well, of course, everybody wants their technicians to be 100% efficiency. Um, if you can get into the 80 range, I mean, that's, that's awesome. We have our moments where we do phenomenal and hit things. And then we have our months that we come up way short. Uh, we're always watching it. Uh, mainly technician efficiency, hours build, uh, things like that. Um, but it is tough, it, it is. And some jobs just take a lot longer than warranty is gonna pay you for. And uh, you can't, you can go back and ask for more money from the manufacturer or more time. Sometimes you get it, most time you don't. Um, you just have to, it's just a cost of doing business. One thing we want to do with communication is is over communicate rather than under communicate. Most every time that we have an unhappy customer or somebody that's dissatisfied, it goes down to a communication issue. We didn't stay on top of things. We might have not ordered the parts in a timely manner. We might not have called the customer and said that, hey, there is a change in your estimate and this is broke and, um, and things like that. So if you if you communicate properly, you can calm probably 90% of your, your issues that would come up. Finding the right candidates is hard all across this dealership. We, we're blessed that there are a lot of mechanical people in our area. We're a rural area. A lot of people have worked on their own things. They, they have an aptitude for it. They're really good at it. Um, but finding technicians that will stay on the job, that will come to work on time and do things in a professional manner is sometimes tough. And um, we're a new dealership. We don't put things together with duct tape and bailing wire. 
we want it fixed, we want it fixed right. If a customer comes in and that's how he wants it repaired, we don't want that job. We want to, um, when it leaves, if somebody sees it, we want to be proud of the work we've done. And so as such, a lot of technicians have came from maybe a shade tree background and um, they really don't know any better or they're honestly trying to save the customer some money. And hey, I get that. Um, I come from the uh, side of life that we, you know, things, things, money was not as easy uh, for us as it might've been for some people. So we, we definitely want to save the customer money when we can, but we want to do the job right with the correct parts.